In our previous class, we had seen how we can create the project in Visual Builder Studio that is to extend the next gen supplier registration Redwood page in Fusion. So when we had created this project that is in the VB application and we had created this workspace with the name next gen supplier registration one and then we went ahead and added the supply chain management register supplier dependency. So once we added the dependency, we were able to see this section that is supply chain management and then we saw that under the registration supplier we are having a couple of pages like start success verification. Suppose if you want to test this application, we can just click on this preview. It will launch the application in a new browser tab. It is similar functionality what we are having in Visual Builder standalone application instance. But the problem over here is you will see we couldn't load this page. We are seeing this error message. So you might wonder like how we will be able to test this application, like how we will be able to modify this page and how we can simulate that is how we can test the changes by modifying the sections in this supplier registration page. Now we will see how we can resolve this. Suppose if you just click on the start, this is the main page wherein we are having the sections for providing the company details, contact information, addresses, business classification, so on so forth. In order to minimize this, first step is we have to get the URL for this Redwood application. That is, if you just click on this menu over here on the right top corner, you are having this share. Just click on this. You will get the application URL. Just click on this copy button. You can make use of any notepad. I'm making use of notepad plus plus over here. So I'm getting one URL that is on click of this share button. I will name this over here share button. Suppose if I click on this preview, that is over here if i click on this preview what is the url we are getting we will just see just click on this preview so it's opening in the new browser tab let me just copy the url from here and i will paste it over here i will name this as preview button so here if you see the url has been changed when we clicked on the preview now if we just closely look at the documentation or the white paper by oracle what they're saying is we need the id that is this one which is available under the configure procurement business function setup we will go to this setup in the fusion and we will try to get the id which is available over there so in order to get the id we will go to the fusion instance click on the icon over here go to the setup and maintenance click on this task click on the search here we have to search for procurement from here, we have to go to this configure procurement business function. Click on this. From here, you have to select the business unit for which you are trying to extend this next gen supplier registration page. I'm extending for this business unit. Click on OK. So there is this prospective supplier URL. Let me just click on this copy URL and I will name this as prospective supplier URL. So prospective supplier means they are not tied to any site supplier site in short they are not tied to any business unit when there is this pen authorized like we just copy this url as well and i will name this as pen authorized url so we are most interested in this id that is this one which is available for the prospective supplier so this we will be using in our use case so that is i will copy this from here and i will go to preview button here i will just put ampersand and paste this over here and click on enter so this is what we have to add that is ampersand followed by the id so what i will do is i will go back to my application and click on this preview we are seeing we couldn't load the page but what i will do is i will go to the end of this url and paste that is ampersand followed by the id what we got from the fusion supplier registration setup click on enter So this time I am seeing this, I will provide the email id over here for which you will get the access code at gmail.com and click on send access code. So access code will be sent to my gmail id, I will provide the same over here. I got the email with the access code, I will enter over here. I have quickly populated the access code, click on continue. Now this time we are not seeing that we couldn't load this page, we are able to access this 
steps in the guided redwood page that is for the registered supplier. So like this we can resolve the issue with the page that is it says we couldn't load the supplier like this. So it is because of the ID. So ID you will get from the configure procurement that is the business function. From here you will get the URL. Same you have to use and you have to provide it over here. 